What is the best hidden potential build for LR Sword of Hope Trunks? Oh, good everybody, Celtic Link here. We're back for another Dokkan Battle video. In today's video, we are talking about the LR Sword of Hope Trunks and what I believe is his best hidden potential build. Having completed his grand tour, we now have a good idea of how this unit performs and what he needs to perform well, especially since we do have a dupe in him. So we're going to spend some time talking about that in this video, what I believe is his best hidden potential build i think moving forward this is going to be the way to approach it we finish the grand tour and then we put out this hidden potential guide for the character this gives us an idea a, a, a good idea of how to build it since now we are talking from a point of well, we have a good point of reference, we'll put it that way, now that we've fully used them to their maximum potential. So, let's go ahead, let's talk about this trunk. So, important things to note about the trunks. Number one, he is raising his defense infinitely on his 18 key, and only raising for one turn on his 12 key. It's important to note that he does, however, have additional attacks, 50% additional super attacks, um, when in the second or third slot if you manage to somehow make it to turn five and not um stand by him he'll have one extra additional attack that has a high chance of becoming a super attack from the fifth turn once you reach the fifth turn from the start of battle whether that ends up actually being turn five or turn six depending on when he showed up you can then enter standby mode once he's in standby mode not only does he reduce damage received by 50 percent and guard all attacks he has two additionals with a great chance of becoming a super attack so realistically unlike typical defense stackers right normally the general rule of thumb is with a defense stacker you go for the additionals to allow them to build that defense even quicker however since he's only activating on his 18 key and not on his 12 his 12 is only a single turn raise um i think there's actually a better use of his hidden potential rather than additionals i know you know for a unit that's stacking defense it's it's really hard to think that why would you not go that even if it is just for the one turn that added defense per turn helps him a little bit with survivability but you have to consider that this unit also has a standby effect and that standby effect creates a finish condition after at least one turn in the standby mode and the longer you let that turn go on right up to um up to four turns right the longer you let that turn go on the greater its power becomes and so i'm going to give the same recommendation for him that i gave for the z duo right the z duo and the gt duo spirit bomb the thing you want to avoid the most with them is not getting that critical hit i mean that's the worst thing in the world with the unit launching a powerful standby finisher is not getting that critical hit you're he needs that penetration power with the extra attack that he's getting so in my opinion um you, the best build for him is actually critical hit which means at let's say you had 79 percent you are looking at 20 uh or i'm sorry 15 critical hit a max of 15 critical hit that will get grant him 30 percent extra critical hit since he is a fizz type right you would think being a fizz type he would want to lead into what he's good uh for and that is additional attacks but in this case the critical hit is your better option again to allow him to penetrate with those larger uh finishing skills that's what you want out of him that's what he's good for and it also helps too right with those multiple additionals on the turns you have where he's launching three four supers if each one of those ends up being a critical hit with that extra 30 percent um and that's not including whatever you give him out of skill orbs um you you're talking about a pretty powerful attack right i've seen this guy hit upwards of 11 to 13 million at 69 percent so that with a crit we're talking about a pretty strong hit now 
With the main hidden potential out of the way, right? Being critical hit, the question you might be wondering, okay, well, what do I give him in the uh, in the secondary slot? Well, you have two options. You can go combo attack or you can go evasion. And personally, I don't believe either is the wrong choice, right? If you choose to go evasion, you're granting yourself an extra 15% in dodge, right? Which would grant you an extra 15% to dodge, which may or may not be helpful. Um, but if you go combo attack, you're granting yourself... Um, Uh, you're granting yourself a little less, right? But it's not necessarily like you're you might be getting one extra super, but given all the supers he's launching, it may not necessarily uh, be that much of a difference between the third and the fourth super. Though it'll be certainly helpful in those uh, newer dismal future red zone stages, to be the example, right? The more super he gets, the more likely he is to survive. Um, but the same could be true on whether or not he gets an actual evasion. And I need to backtrack on the evasion here. Um, I, the max evasion he can get, I think, is 11. Um, if you fully max his critical hit. So, uh, given that, um, that's actually only an 11% increase, but that's still a larger percent increase than zero. So, either one kind of helps him. Um, it really depends on the situation. If you dodge the attack, you dodge the attack. If you launch the additional super, well, then you're surviving the attack. It, either way really works but i think his primary focus should be that critical hit for the additional 30 percent to his crit um in my opinion so um i really do think that's the way to go um you could go additionals and hope right for that extra higher percent um chance of doing one but i do think the critical hit is more beneficial given his standby skill in much the same way that i recommended for the z duo so anyways guys that is the video if you like the video make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already and in the comments down below let me know what hidden potential choice did you go with for lr sort of hope trunks again this is just my recommended build you don't have to use this build and it may not even be the right build it is just kind of my recommendation to help you get the most out of this unit uh, in my opinion there are no wrong uh builds right there's always a justification for anyone's type of build based on your playstyle. i'm just giving you my thoughts on what i think might be helpful so anyways guys like i said that is the video if you liked the video hit that like button subscribe to the channel and if nothing else guys thanks for watching and aloha